Hello all, my name is Ijabla Pius Papka, specialist in nuclear and environmental physics from the University of Glasgow, the convener of poverty virus in Nigeria. Do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Papka International TV. Today, the message and the question is to our world leaders, how does it work? The COP26 is taking place here in Glasgow. As a specialist in nuclear and environmental physics, I have undergone different research and that informed me of what I want to say and I need an answer to that. Okay? We need renewable energy. We have people like Jeff Bezos. Here in the conference, we have people like Elon Musk, the owner of Tesla, which is electric cars. The world want to go to green, environmentally friendly. We know that according to the Sustainable Goal Development Goals, the number one goal is no poverty, and number 13 goal is climate action. Oh yes, we want to have a friendly environment. Don't forget, poverty is a canker worm in Africa. What are the major steps that these world leaders are taking to make sure that poverty is mitigated in Africa as a whole? Okay. You want us to go to green. Coming to Africa where you have large markets. Africa yet doesn't have constant electricity. With inadequate power supply, how do we expect electric cars to thrive in Africa? Let's look at Lagos, Nigeria as a point of reference. Lagos is a city where it's being populated day by day. People leave their villages due to insecurity. to come and seek for refuge. Then, to come and seek for refuge. Then, there is inadequate energy for them. What are the world leaders doing? Taking Africa, Nigeria as a case study, where oil is being produced, but the gas is being flared without adequate measures put in place and that contribute to the carbon footprint in the world. Can the international bodies enact laws to cope with that measures because the greenhouse gases released to the atmosphere contribute to global warming and invariably affecting climate change? world leaders how does it work due to massive poverty in africa and knowing fully well africa as a continent is the second most populous continent in the world in discriminate falling of trees used as fuel and instability caused by the insurgencies this encroachment is taking the light of the day what can internationally international leaders do to mitigate poverty that can make cooking gas accessible and cheaper by the masses and thereby mitigating climate change and how can relative peace be restored to the affected countries who will supervise the country the continent country by country to make sure the enacted laws 
the laws to make sure the laws enacted by international bodies are the head of the latter. What such international leaders take to see the poor masses are enlightened more about climate change. Consider in Africa, Nigeria to be precise, more are yet to go to school. Even if enlightenment can be inculcated in the curriculum from primary to secondary school. How does it work? Yes, it's beyond writing things on paper. We need to save our planet. We need to be practical enough. The conference COP26 is taking place and thousands of people flew into Glasgow. To be realistic to ourselves, haven't we contributed a lot to the carbon footprint again? This question is to the world leaders. Don't forget, share the video, subscribe to the channel. How does it work? We need to eradicate poverty first before considering climate issues. I remain my humble self, Ijabula Pius Papka, a specialist in nuclear and environmental physics from the University of Glasgow. Joe Biden. The President of United States of America, the Prime Minister of United Kingdom, Boris Johnson, the President of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, and other world presidents and leaders. I need an answer to these questions that I said to you. How does it work? God bless you.